Hello and welcome to episode 157 of my Elden Ring playthrough. Sorry about the end of yesterday. Lots of little annoyances just pushed me over the edge. Anyway, I was thinking about Alexander. And I was going to teleport myself up there to see if there was a, um, a way to get up there. And then I've noticed there's a ladder. There is a ladder. So I think... I have an idea as to how we're supposed to get there. I could be wrong. You see, the reason I think we can get there from this side, other than the fact that I don't think we can get back up after having looked at all of this, is he's literally standing right there. There is no, or other than you paying no attention at all, there is no way you can miss him and run past him. You can see he is there. And that being the case, it begs the questions like, how do you get over to him? But if there's a ladder there, because we can't make it from that that building there up. So you have to make it from up down. And if there's a ladder there that's going to take us to there, that might be the path. And that will actually give us a different direction to head. Not that I have any objections going back to the place, um, that place over there, but I do want, kind of want to see whether or not this is in fact anything. Actually, it's no point putting this on because we already know that the enemies in here are cheating. So that was one of the issues. Do you wake up if I pass? No. The fact that a spellcaster can shoot through walls was one of the things that was annoying me. So they can hit me with a target spell without actually being able to see and therefore target me. Okay, if the access to there is anywhere, it's up here. Potentially on the other side. Out of a window over there, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, see what I mean by cheating? Any normal enemy outside would not have seen me crouching down there. Particularly not when I had the thing equipped. These guys can. Unfortunately, they have no boys, unlike the boys on the other side. The boys on the other side remind me of Crucible Knights. Only thinner, more aggressive, less HP, but just as unbreakable in their poise. Hmm, not a way out. I need you to come around the corner, please. That would imply we'd need to get on the actual roof itself, which I don't think is even possible. No exit point here. That just takes us to that little thing outside, but there wasn't a ladder or anything over there. I don't think. Hmm. Let's clear out the rest of this room so that we can pay closer attention to everything. One over 
there's patrolling. Let's see if we can see where he's patrolling. Okay, he's patrolling away, that's good. It gives us opportunity. I was not expecting the snap attack. You're going to be on your way back. Oh, that's fine. We can work with that. Yeah, no ladder here. Hmm. Even if that ladder does exist, I don't think we can actually drop off from the top there and survive. And there's no side exit out of here. Okay, so maybe we do have to loop all the way around. One of their attention. Yeah. I oh, know that does connect all the way across. My next option is to head over to there and use the ladder to get back up to there. Can't get the camera around far enough. But yeah, there's no connection there. So even if I did see a ladder, I don't think we could get up there. can't get into there and that's a way back down but I couldn't see a way from there to get up to here which makes me think that you have to be able to get up to there from is there a ladder? no there isn't it's just the way that those connected make it look like there's a ladder so there has to be a way up then We already know that these guys are going to see us regardless of if we're sneaking. We need to be mindful of some of them because some of them will hit us very hard. didn't actually poke our way all the way around back last time. Yeah, there's the ladder there that goes up to that branch there. do it. Okay. My concern in getting up there is it doesn't look like you can get from here or from there to there. There also doesn't appear to be a way up from there to there. 
so maybe you do have to get in the top of that somehow. How have you not seen me? Big guy down here. Yes. Didn't kill him. <laughs> okay. From here we have to go down to get back up. We may as well double check all these areas. There is another big guy hiding. Ah yeah, he's gonna it's not a big guy though. They're gonna jump out of here. alone staring unfathomably at nothing basically this needs a jump as does this side get up from here. We have a bunch more of you up there. There's no other way out of here. Okay, let's take the lower route because that's where our runes are. there but I don't think there's any kind of way up from there and down is the path that we were taking it's a survivable it just looks dangerous right Let's not get ourselves out here while fighting this guy again. Try and stay in here. Let's get our free back attack. Fuck you, it didn't even roll! Okay, that was just screwing me over. So those attacks are specifically designed that if you immediately roll after you hit them, you're going to take the attack or the damage from the next one. So I knew that. So I was delaying it a fraction of a second, but it was entirely ignoring the fact I told it to roll. And it's shit like that that infuriates me. Consistency game. 
your enemy should have to play by the same rules I do. Otherwise, everything just feels cheap. And you see one part of that attack just phased through it, because that should have killed it there and then. It has done before, why didn't it do this time? I'm just not going to even bother trying to kill these guys fairly. If they're not going to play by the rules, then why the fuck should I give them any opportunity to cheat? your insanely stupid reach. I might still be a little salty about these guys, <laughs> if that hasn't come across yet. This is all going down and we want to be heading up. That's another down that we can't get back up from. Where the devil are we? grand 3D picture of this place. I'm trying to find a point of reference for part of the areas above us. That's where we just came in from. This is definitely not a safer path through here, but this is the only path through here. Look at that. This is definitely a different path through here then. Odd place to have this. Uh, yeah, there's nothing that I've killed that is going to be able to follow me down here. Oh, is this just a direct shot? <laughs> okay. Actually, why am I changing weapons? We've already decided. Cheese. These guys need an abundance of cheese. Or more accurately, they need just ice spears to the face constantly. That is not a safer place to enter from. Let's come over here. Let's summon you. You're the one following me, that works.
Okay. I don't think it can volley poly yet. them with a single attack. Smith and Stone Bell Bear in four. We have two Bell Bearings to turn in now, don't we? Ashes of War, Black Flame Tornado. Was that a great enemy? I wasn't paying attention. I need to know for labeling of my um, chapters. I assume the last two enemies we bailed on were demigods just because we know they have Elden Rings. So that was the way for the back entrance. That entrance is so much nicer just to get into here. Ah, <sighs> victory. That victory did not feel hard earned, but trying to fight both of those at the same time with my build is basically impossible. Someone could do it, guaranteed. People better than me could do it. But there are two enemies, and if they're both locked onto you, let's get that one extra strength. And if they're both locked onto you, they're just going to explicitly be using attacks on you. And if you have one in your face and one at range, then you'll dodge the one at range to eat the melee attack, or dodge the melee attack to eat the one at range. So that seemed like the only possible way to get around it. Anyway, let's go turn these bell bearings in. Because I think that gives us the opportunity to basically max level the rest of our weapons if this is in fact what I think it is. And then we should have found all of the bell bearings, which is good because I was worried that we was missing one. So let's see. Off a bell bearing. Smith is bell bearing. Off a bell bearing. Glove war pickers. There we go. One through eight. One, two, three, four. Ah no, we're still missing five, six of Somberin. We have all the glove warts. We have all the grave warts. And there's the fact there's a nine. But yeah, we're missing five and six. Maybe that's in the um, Lord of Chaos's domain. Possible. Okay, let's see how many more we actually need to max out the rest of these weapons. I think we just need to max two of them, don't we? I'll spin now. Hang on a second. I didn't... That was a different set of texts. It sounds like he's in pain. About the god slaying weapon. Yes, I'm... My masterpiece to slay a god. That's all I've lived for. And my promise to Queen... And my promise to Queen America. But do me a favour and do... Do look after the girl. Okay, so we need... We have two, we need... Two, then twelve. Fourteen. 14 will be enough to max these. I can't, I can't hold on much longer. I won't go in the way of the, the, the round table. Yeah, it was a great honor. It was a great honor to smith your weapons during my time here. Allow me to call. call Call you this just once before it ends, my lord. For, for that is what you are. Well, rest in peace, my friend. He's not chained here anymore. She did say, say as much. Okay, let's. I don't think I can afford fourteen at the minute. But if I burn through some of the um. 
some of the souls. Our boons we may be able to. Do we have any spares? We do. We might be a little bit short. Okay, that gets us 14, which probably means that we don't have enough to actually um, do the upgrades, which is fine. We have a little more. He's intent on staying. Do you have anything to say about that? I see. You're here for some spirit tuning. Is that right? So Master Hugh won't listen to you either. You have my thanks regardless. I'll try and talk him round next time. I know he was given this great entreaty to craft a weapon which could slay a god. Though I can't help but think of it as a curse. A fearsome curse. Put on him by Queen Marika. And if that's the case, I'm not sure there's anything we can do. Here's the thing, the only actual god we're aware of is Queen Marika. Everyone else is a demigod. Oh Smith, as long as you know. We'll ask that in a second. We only need twice, that one is probably going to be enough. There we go. All of our weapons are max. I've upset the girl. She says that now my chains are broken, I'm free. And if I stay here, I will be ruined with the round table. <laughs> What use have I for freedom now? Are smith weapons to slay a god? I have lived and will die doing so upon this spot. Is there any other way? You could leave. I could kill your god. I see. That may or may not be the end of that. We've probably still got some time left though. Um, I can't imagine that the round table is going to entirely burn until we've actually finished the um, game. Principally because at the minute we don't have anywhere else we can go get spirit tuning. Uh, so which one? This one I think. Dragon Temple Altar. The exit is to the left. And again we head down. Up is the direction we need to be going. Okay, so you guys again. Oh, there's dragon hewed into the rock. That's the wrong word, no. Hewed would imply that they were um, carved in there, which is almost certainly not the case. Okay, if we're back to these beasties again, then... Other than the fact their weapon has dragon lightning on it, we can deal with these. I wonder how much defense that actually gives me. Again, he wasn't even looking in my direction and he still saw me. Either they are cheating...
because they can see through stealth. While looking the other way. Now you're the I'm a bit more concerned about. How much health do you actually have? As much as the others. Okay, good. Still don't want to be hit by your weapon, but at least we know that you're not any nastier than the others. There is a lot more to this area. So how big is this place? Oh, I remember seeing you. Yeah, they're holding the ranged weapons. Which means if they see us, we're going to be continually dodging those things. No, the game wouldn't ask us to do that. No, of course it wouldn't. That would be silly. <sighs> game, I am locked onto a target. I can see it, right there. You have a little dot on it. You can clearly indicate that you know the target is there. Therefore, when I use a targeted attack to fire at it, why do you fire it straight forward? I know you can angle this up and down. That is also infuriating. Why the hell did they think that was a good idea? I hate wasting mana like that. Okay, it's gonna start throwing at me almost the second I jump out of here. Because the second I land down there, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stand up. That's what's gonna happen. And I'm no longer gonna be sneaking. That one up there will probably see me at the same time. I was standing up. But it didn't see me. It's not tracking me. It is tracking me. Interesting that they dropped sanctuary stones. We're also heading the wrong direction. We're still continuing to go down. We need to head up if we want to get to Alexander. We don't know why we're in this area, so Alexander is the only thing I care about. <laughs> no. Uh, a running jump can make that. I don't much like it. We're not that far away from a safety um, side of grace. Here is room five. Worth it, we did just spend a bunch of runes. Okay, let's head down. And again, we're standing up. Why can't you stay crouched? It's all the little things. All of them. Thankfully we're not playing this tomorrow, so we can get over them. You look like you'll hurt a lot more than everything else. You also look more heavily armoured than everything else. Are you coming all the way over? I can't hide any further than this. Whew. Whew. 
Okay. You look nastier. But you're about as strong health-wise as everything else. I wonder if this game is going to have a problem with the, or this area is going to have a problem with the number of dragons I've killed. Because I have bought all of the dragon incantations that we have access to now. Okay, so that takes us over there. Which allows us to get up into there, but we want to be up there. How in the devil do we get up there from here? These are not directions that head to Alexander. That might be. That might be something. And stone seven. And I do not believe that there is nothing here. I oh, know there's a sleeping guy over there. We need to be careful. The only direct um. If we have to fight him, the only way we have is two of them. How to deal, how to deal, how to deal. That worked better than I was expecting it to. There does not appear to be any reason to be here. Up the stairs we go. Since that is the best direction we have to get to Alexander. Although we're well below him at the minute. Okay, we have one there. That's fine, you see me, you can come. Although you have throwing weapons, which is less than ideal. Did we just loop around? No, we're in a higher section. One, two, three. That didn't kill him. He's still alive. Was this the place we came down? Oh, good shot. Oh yeah, those things curve. They are quite irritating. Please go up, please go up. That's dangerous, but that is how we get up there. If that lift takes us up, it will take us to roughly where Alexander is. Hmm. I want to make sure that the one I knocked down isn't still down here trying to attack me. Okay, I think we're safe. Ugh. 
last sight of Grace was a while ago. Maybe it'd be better to take the lift up? See if there's a sight of Grace up there, because if there is, then that's an easier way back to here. Let's see if it goes up anyway. Up, please up, yes. Now there is a sleeping dragon up here. If this takes us all the way to the top, which it looks like it is doing. Outstanding. Let's touch that. That's not sleeping it yet. This is how we get through Alexander. See another golden item over there. Okay. Let's head down. Let's try and make that jump. If we miss that jump or if that platform falls out from underneath us, which is a possibility, then we straight up die. There's nothing below us. Ancient Dragon Smith and Stone. Worth it. Anywhere else? I think at this point we're looking back over at, yeah. Alexander's up there, that's the way we came from. Before we hit the boss room. That looks like a way to get back down. Not necessarily a safer way to get back down, just a way to get back down. Yep. Okay. And we have a path that goes over there, which looks to take us to... We know that there's a boss room over there. In the minute, I'm mostly just trying to map this place out of my head. Because we're going to have to come back through here. Okay. We will rest of the, the Sight of Grace this time. He says, walking straight past it. Okay. Goes nowhere. We want to be over there to get up there. Requires us to go past this place first. They look undead. That's fine. We can deal with undead. An undead dog as well. Let's kill the one that I consider the bigger of the threats. Finish you. You can't hear my footsteps, but you can see me.
Is that? Yeah, that is. That's quite literally where we came from. There's another big guy up there with a smaller guy. I wonder, do we have a better magical pot? We do. Ah, uh, they cost centipedes though. And they don't respawn, so that's a very limited number of those that we can make. And these just don't do the amount of damage that they used to. Nah, I'm much better off just dealing with them this way. Maybe put in um, that AoE spell back on. I did not see you. Some butterflies. Now where is that dragon? I know there is a dragon just chilling around here. Hello. That's a lot of you. Fortunately, I smelt something wrong and I saw you all. So, how do you like? I missed one. Apparently not here anymore. This is what they're supposed to do with this charm. Give me just long enough. Thank you. I get to keep you guys for. Oh, that's one thing I did do that I never actually mentioned that I did. Actually, do I actually still have it? I bought it. Yes, we have Lord's Heal now, which is going to use up like half my mana bar. But that's a lot of health. Uh, that being the case, let's get mana back in an appropriate manner. That's all of them. So Alexander's that way. I hear a jingling. There you are. You have a... Oh, I see what you're going to do. Look at that thing. Standing there, primed and ready to run forward. What's forward from it? Buddy dragon.
That is quite literally the most obvious way. It's not obvious, but it's clearly put there as bait. Okay, there's one more in the tree. There's two more in the tree. Three more in the tree. That's fine. Just gonna chill? Not gonna come down? Fair enough. I'll leave you to boot. Yeah, so the other path that we could have taken is to that boss room. Whatever the hell is in there. Okay. I see your bait. Let's see if we can cut it off. All we wanted to do is turn around and run the other way. Golden Lightning Fortification. Alexander comes first. I see at least two doggos. At least two doggos. Is this death? No, this is to somewhere. Ah, this isn't to somewhere. This is to somewhere we have been before. We do not head down there. about down here. Okay, yeah, I know where that is. We'll have to actually remember to use the dragon wound grease and see how effective it is against that guy. That's not what we're here for. We finally found our way to Alexander. Ooh, that's what it's there for. <laughs> that's not there for the way to get down. It's just there to look like a way to get down. No, it's a way to punish you for missing this. Okay. Hey there, friend. What's up? Ah, I see you finally made it here yourself. The city hanging in the air is slowly crumbling. What an incredible place we find ourselves. But that aside, you're certainly a force to be reckoned with, eh? I doubt there's a single soul who could have handled that giant other than you. It was practically a god. Of course, I count myself, the great Alexander, among the many. Which means I've but one thing to ask of you. Would you kindly undertake my ordeal? Come and tell me when you're ready. I've been longing to fight a warrior as accomplished as you. Oh. He wants a duel. He's a warrior. If a jewel is what he wants, I am willing to give him it. Uh, I still have enough resources that I'm happy to try and take this you on. You are ready then, I take it. Then let us begin. 
I am the great jar warrior, Iron Fist Alexander. Lend me strength, O oh warriors with it. Let us become one champion together. You didn't let me prepare. <laughs> trying not to kill him. I'm sorry, but I think you've lost this one. <laughs> As I suspected, victory was impossible. This vessel was found lacking. My thanks. I knew you were the stuff of champions. It was a marvelous battle. I implore you, take what I bequeath from inside me. All vessels are destined to one day break, but the great Alexander lived as a warrior to his last. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't go the way that I expected it to. Shard of Alexander. Alexander's Inners. I wanted to try and repair him, but apparently not. Um, that wasn't the menu. Greatly boost attack power of all skills. Shard of the last or late Alexander, uh, a shattered warrior jar. Greatly boosts the attack power of all skills. Um, scraped with strewn of flesh, clinging to the shard, and tatters, uh, tatters of ornaments um, can be seen mingled in with the slime. A uh, relic of a red-haired champion, it would seem. Wouldn't that be Radan? Isn't the darn red-headed champion a red-headed champion? Okay, we're not quite done then. Keepsake of Alexander, found at the core of the dead flesh that once filled the, uh, the great jar. Uh, the jar contains the dregged, uh, dregged's innards from those who came before, and thus the warriors passed from jar to jar, carried dreams of greatness. I am going to take that to where it's obviously supposed to go, but first things first, we should um, finish heading this way, if we can. Ah, there is a path up. It's hidden behind it. There's those that live in death up here. We've seen them. No ladder. So where does this bring us? That head is rolling away. Does that come from something? That was not what we wanted. Um, to run around in a circle. There we go. Two of them. Yo. Okay, good. I got them both. That was close. Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook. That was the problem. I wasn't paying attention to how much FP I had. Ancient Dragon's book. What does this give us? 
Ancient Dragon Bolt Pot, Lightning Proof Dried Liver. That's going to come in handy, assuming they're not too expensive. There we go, so there's our Lightning Pot upgrade. That's still Dexterity? Yeah, Strength and Dexterity. And what was the other thing? It was a line proof drive deliver, this thing. We're going to need that for the next boss, I imagine. I mean, for the dragons here in general, we should uh, we need it. Okay. This key item clearly is supposed to go over here. Uh, you... Okay, you're just sleeping. That's okay. Every time I see this thing, I assume that there's been an attack here and they're all dead. I have some bad news. Those awful poachers. I hope Uncle Alexander beats them all up. Um, can I not give this to you? Those awful... Hmm. There must be something we can do with this. I kind of assumed it would be... here? where we could do something with it. But maybe we need to go see the Great Jar, which um, will take a little while. Let's go have a look to see if we can get to the, uh, go speak with the Great Jar. Um, our entry point is here, isn't it? Yeah. We are gonna have to fight our way past those two giants again, so bear with me. That is the direction we are heading. These explodey things will not catch us. I don't think we get close enough before that goes off. Nope, we're here. They die nice and quickly. <laughs> Assuming we can get eyes on a weak spot. Okay, I th think we can get close enough in time. Maybe not. Oh, that's fine. That did next to nothing. I was concerned for a second. Can I target its hand, please? Its hand is... What are you aiming at? The only other thing I can think of doing with this. Hmm. Okay. There may be a way to continue it on, but I would have to do something that I've been avoiding or I didn't want to do. So I know that 
um, Deimos because I accidentally saw a screenshot of it. Um, the guy that went over to the Volcano Mansion ends up some way, shape or form in Jarburg. I don't know how or why, I just know he does. So I may have to look up Alexander's quest line to see whether or not it requires us to do more on there. It's possible that it's just straight up ended. Um, is this the one? I think that's the one. Um, yeah, it's possible the quest has just ended and that we got one of an ending for it, or the only ending for it. I will have to look it up, but anyway. We have a dragon over here that we will fight tomorrow. But until then, today went better than yesterday. I'm, I am happy with the way to, today went. We only died a handful of times, I'll accept that. We are in the harder area of the game, and we are playing without any real kind of defense. It's an excuse, I know. I just need to get good. But anyway, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheerio.